Honourable President, Mr Verhofstadt, if you make these pronouncements, then you have to be willing to follow them up with action. Now, you've been talking about spying and you're attacking it, and I agree that, that you're upset about this. Now, Mr de Gaulle should not open negotiations. And then, the compliments to the strong woman in the European Commission, Vivienne Reding, who was the first person to broach the idea. In the negotiation, what it will centre on is that European standards, for example on data protection, are going to be called into question, which is why these negotiations should not be opened until we have investigated the order of magnitude of the problem. If any further explanations are needed, well, yesterday Foreign Minister Kerry stood up in front of uh, public opinion and said that this was all quite normal. Ms. Reading is right. Stop de Gucht immediately. And as we were saying, it's all very well to have a big mouth, but you have to follow up on it. So, if we are looking at this whole business of adopting things. The Duchess of Alba springs to mind. Look at what is going to happen by way of direct payments from the agricultural budget in the EU and compare that with what we are spending on youth unemployment and tackling youth unemployment. I'm ashamed of this because this is precisely the structural problem in this budget. We continue to look at our pre-modern priorities, spending more money on agricult agriculture than on youth unemployment, 10 euros per head, is what you've got in the Youth Guarantee Fund, 10 euros a head. Martin Schultz, you know that I was very disappointed about the swift vote on this budget, and it's to do with this miserable decision on the youth guarantee. Now, we know what the problem of youth unemployment means in Germany. For example, what we tried to do when we built up the east of Germany was to try to overcome structural problems. And what we need now is building up Europe, at least of southern Europe. The recession in southern Europe is the biggest problem. Young people on a day-to-day -day basis are losing their jobs, they're becoming unemployed and this youth guarantee will not achieve much unless we start tackling the structural problems.